Hello everybody. Uh, we're just going to sing you a couple of carols uh, away in the manger and silent night. Hello everybody, happy Christmas and I'm going to play a Christmas carol on my new keyboard. is perfect. Happy Christmas. Okay, hi everyone. I just would like to uh, share this little verse which is, and uh, it's found in Philippians first, chapter 4, verse 4. And it's, um, it's just, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And verse 7, it just says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And that verse just spoke to me about this whole year of uh, COVID-19 and how anxious that people may have been getting over this this whole year that we're, especially in lockdown and that so for me that helped me when he says do not be anxious about anything and that he he gives us our peace about it and god is peace and he um he's in control so with that i'll just say um for this year even though we're not together this year which is kind of difficult i would just like to wish you all a very merry christmas and a very peaceful new year and we just praise god for for the end of this year and that this year we'll find a cure for this pandemic. That's it. Thanks. 
Happy Christmas, everyone. I just want to read to you my favorite Christmas verse. It's taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, and the peace shall be no end. Upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it, and to establish it with judgment, and with peace from henceforth and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a pleasant New Year, especially as the year comes to an end, for it has been a very hard, long year for all of us. We should all remember the reason for the season. The reason for the season is Jesus Christ, the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. And at this time, at this good times, we should all know that Christ is our hope and Christ is the reason for the season. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. We're just reading a psalm from Psalm 31, 24. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart, all you have hope in the Lord. Yes, a very Merry Christmas on behalf of the Baron family. We do wish you the very best for the new year as well. We will be together again very shortly. Thank God you. Bless. God bless. Hello, my name is Ligia and these are my children. And we are from Romania and we would like to sing a Romanian carol called Oh, what a wonderful news. Oh, Thank you. We would like to say Happy Christmas to everyone and Happy New Year. Bye. 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 Everyone, joy to the world. And it's wonderful to be here in our church today, sharing with all our brothers and sisters in Christ. And I would like to say Christ is there for everyone.
and anyone can accept him. He is our saviour. He came to save the world, especially now at these times when nobody wants to talk about him. I want you to know he is there. You can have him in your heart. You can carry him with you and you can pray to him. You can ask him for the Holy Spirit and strength and encouragement. And happy Christmas to you. Hello everybody, Sean here, wishing you all a very happy and safe Christmas and a joyous new year with your families and that you would have a blessed 2021. God bless you. Bye. Habari kila mtu wa kanisa la Baptist Church. Kwa majina naitwa Lucy Karioki. Mimi ni mwombaji wa kanisa la Baptist Church Babregan County Dublin. Nataka kuwapatia pongezi nzuri kwa Christmas muwe na Christmas njema wote wanaokuja kwa kanisa ya Baptist Church. Na muwe na mwaka mpya mzuri na laheri. Tomba Mungu mwaka ujao Hakuna corona tena. I wish you all a very very merry Christmas for all the members of Baptist Church in Barbrigan and a happy new year. I hope that next year we'll be celebrating good year of no corona. God bless you all the members. God bless the pastor. God bless the family of the pastor. And wish you all a very merry, merry Christmas. Christmas njema. Asante ni sana. Majina naitua Lucy Karioki. Goodbye. And I wish you the best. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone. And a happy new year. Love from Daniela Nathaniel Offerly. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi everybody, um, I just want to say Happy Christmas. I just want to add to it that one of my favourite songs of Christmas is uh, O Holy Night. It's because of the words and it's because of what it reflects Jesus as King. But I want to say Happy Christmas to you all and God bless and hope to see you all in the New Year. Thanks very much. Merry Christmas from our home to yours. Tayong Pasko at manibong bagong taon sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat. Happy Christmas everybody! Happy Christmas! Hi everyone, I'd like to uh, just take this opportunity to wish everyone in the church, especially now with my favourite, a uh, very happy Christmas and a happy new year and hopefully as Raymond said, we'll see you all in the new year. Thank you. Well, hello friends. Let us wish you all a very happy Christmas and a very happy new year. Uh, hello. Binabati ko kayo ng maligayang Pasko sa inyong lahat, lalong-lalo na sa mga kasamaan ko sa Iglesia. I hope you have a peaceful Christmas and remember the Lord Jesus every day. Just again to celebrate Christmas, to give a blessing to, from Jesus and wishing everyone a very happy Christmas. Hello everybody, uh, welcome uh, to worship on this uh, Christmas Day uh, 2020. I hope you enjoyed uh, those greetings uh, from each other uh, throughout the church. I, I know we didn't manage to get everybody uh, recorded uh, saying Happy Christmas uh, and hearing different languages, seeing each other's uh, uh, personalities coming out. Uh, it was a great joy. Uh, this morning uh, to be able to uh, share in that way. 
we're going to sing uh, together uh, before I open up uh, the word uh, for just a few moments. Uh, but before we sing uh, our first carol this morning, I just want to pray uh, for us. Uh, Lord God, uh, we uh, thank you uh, that we get to celebrate uh, your coming to earth as a baby, uh, Lord, uh, all those years ago uh, today. Lord, help us to remember the reason why we're celebrating, to, to remember the reason why we uh, maybe share gifts together, Lord, that we, why we have a uh, family round uh, and uh, why we uh, took into delicious food, Lord, uh, throughout this day. Uh, Lord, help us to remember, Lord, that it is you coming to earth as a baby, Lord, that we're celebrating. But much more than that, Lord, that you, uh, you lived and you died and you rose again. And you are our saviour from ourselves, from our sins, uh, Lord. And, Lord, that you have called us to yourself to be your people. Lord, help us to be light in this world today. In your name, Lord, I pray. Amen. We're going to sing uh, together just now. Heart the Herald Angels Sing.
Thank you for that uh, good sing. We're going to uh, turn to Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Something that we've uh, been looking at throughout uh, this Christmas uh, season as we prepare ourselves to be ready uh, to celebrate this day. So we're going to read Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. A few weeks ago I spoke on Emmanuel. Uh, looking at the first part of this uh, ver this uh, verse, uh, to us a child is born, to us a son is given. Then we Noel looked at wonderful counsellor for us. Uh, last Sunday, as we were able to meet together uh, and gathered worship rather than online worship, we looked at ever the fact that Jesus is our everlasting Father. On Sunday, Sean is going to look at Mighty God for us. And today we're looking at the fact that Jesus is our Prince of Peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And so this morning as we come and as we worship together, uh, albeit online uh, today, as we join with uh, one or two uh, members of our extended families maybe uh, throughout the day in, in what is our bubble, our Christmas bubble, our pods, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've lost track of the different terminologies the government keeps coming up with. As we gather together, and as we worship together today, we celebrate the baby, but we worship the son. Yes, we celebrate the fact that Jesus came as a baby that very first Christmas and was laid in a manger. And the angels sang and the shepherds came and visited him. And a little while later, the Magi from the east came and visited but it's not just about the baby. Remember, a child was born, but the son was given. We worship the son. We worship God the son in his fullness, not just in his human form. Jesus the baby, who grows up to be the man. But in all his fullness, his pre-existent nature. The risen Saviour who will reign in eternity. We worship him today. And because he is pre-existent, because he is the incarnate God with us. We know him, we can know peace with God. Which is why Isaiah can say that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. The Son is the Prince of Peace that Isaiah tells us about in chapter 9, verse 6. And in Luke chapter 1, verse 14, Luke chapter 1, verse 14, we note that the angels announce that there will be peace on earth because of Jesus. They say, don't they? And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great before the Lord, and he must not... Oh, sorry. That's, uh, that's about John the Baptist. My mistake. It's Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Uh, sorry about that. 
Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. The angels announcing that Jesus brings peace on earth because God has entered our world as a baby. So at the very beginning of Jesus' life on earth, the angels announce peace. Peace with God, peace with each other. And in the upper room in John's Gospel, chapter 14, John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 27, We read these words, peace I leave with you, may peace I give you, not as the world gives do I give to you, let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So Jesus at the end of his life, as he's in the upper room, as he's preparing the disciples for his impending death, but also his resurrection, that he says, my peace I leave with you. So Jesus enters this world and he leaves this world with a promise of peace. A promise of peace between those who call on his name and God. The peace that was broken in the garden because of sin has been restored through the life death and resurrection of Jesus we have peace with God and because we have peace with God our hearts do not need to fear he says do not let your hearts be troubled neither let them be afraid this year we've been given we've been bombarded with reasons to be fearful we've been bombarded with reasons to be afraid and yet Jesus says do not let your hearts be troubled do not let them be afraid why because Jesus comes to bring us peace with God therefore everything else falls into insignificance in comparison to knowing Jesus and when we have God we have an anchor we have a rock on which to build our lives that when all when fears swirl around us, when, when the world throws us into turmoil, that we can stand still and we can still know peace with God, peace with ourselves and peace with each other. And because we have peace with God, we can live in peace with each other and with ourselves. Because of Jesus. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let them be afraid. Trust in Jesus. When we trust in him, he promises his peace. Amen. Shall we pray? Lord God, we thank you, uh, Lord, that you do indeed bring us peace between you and us, peace within ourselves, peace with each other and peace from our world. Lord, a world that is in utter turmoil right now. And yet, Lord, as followers of you, as people who have put our trust and our hope in you, Lord, that we can know you as a Prince of Peace today. And all that we can stand firm in you right now. Amen. We're going to sing together uh, just now. But before we do, just to remind you that uh, we will have our worship service on Facebook and YouTube from 10 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 10.30. From 10.30 on Sunday the 27th. Then... Next Tuesday, the 29th of December at 8pm, we'll have our quiz night on Zoom. And then 
Sunday the 3rd of January from 10.30 our worship again on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. Shall we sing O Come All Ye Faithful? Some words uh, from Matthew's Gospel uh, to end our time together this morning. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Amen. Goodbye and God bless.